So Ben, you stepped in and played a really big role for the team last year. How has that transition been for you? Our uh, transition's been good, man. I mean, you know, we're here at spring ball. I don't get no better. You know, it's sunny outside. So we just here, you know, here to get better every day and putting on one percent. Now it looks like you're taking reps at left tackle with Will retiring medically. How has that gone? Uh, left tackle's been good. I mean, I don't know if you know, if you, you remember last uh, last fall ball, you know, I was playing a lot of tackle. In high school, I played tackle. So, you know, it's a little bit different, but, you know, it, it, it's, it's also familiar as well because I played it before. So, you know, nothing too crazy. At the high school level, did you play on the right side or left? I played on the left side. Okay, so you, you're used to the pass protection element of it then? Correct. I mean, right side and left side, I mean, obviously it's different techniques, but essentially right. you're doing the same thing with your, with your feet switched. So, you know, both sides, you know, it, it's a little different, but, um, you know, either way, I think they're both, uh, for me personally, I think they're a lot, a lot alike. Are you comfortable and confident at the position? No, definitely, definitely. I, I, I've, you know, of course, you know, with Angus and, you know, uh, great with previously, you know, we've shift, shifted back and forth across the line, so I think it's been perfect because, you know, I've been able to be comfortable playing multiple positions, you know, the more tools in the toolbox is, is the ultimate goal. So obviously, Matt is a veteran on the line. Do you think of yourself as one of the leaders there, too? I think so, too. I mean, it's crazy that I'm one of the older guys now. Um, time flies. Uh, so, you know, going into, I guess, this would be, you know, my fourth one in the fall, so it's kind of crazy to think about a uh, to think about how, how, how quick it all goes. So you've got that NFL lineage with your dad having played professional ball. Are you starting to see things come into focus for your future coming up in a couple of years? Oh, well, I don't focus on that. You know, um, I think, you know, my, my dad and I always try to talk about just regular stuff, just dad and son stuff. Uh, we do watch film together as well. But, you know, I, I try to just worry about today, you know, enjoy it, rest, spring ball, and just trying to get better every day. And, you know, if I do the proper things, then I trust that, you know, I, all my work and preparation, and that would take me where I'm supposed to land at. What kind of feedback are you getting from him? Game, uh, film, oh, things like that. Oh, from Pops? I mean, yeah. just, you know, just, just working on technique, you know. I yeah. think it's pretty simple. You know, if you don't punch your hands to get a good punch, it's pretty simple to identify, man. You got to punch, you got to move your feet. Um, you know, there's not too many, you know, tricks that we, we, we try to implement. You know, we keep it simple. I think O-line is, is real technical, and um, I think that's important. So, you know, you, you got to master the fundamentals, and, and that's what we're out here trying to do every day. Do you have a sense for how good this team can be? I do. I think we, we click. We click really well, and I think a big part of this friendship. I know a lot of teams fall apart um, based off, you know, not just having that friendship, that com uh, camaraderie in the locker room. And um, I think the greatest part about this is that, you know, my my favorite group is the DBs, and the DBs probably said a favorite group out of me is, you know, and the O line is, go is going to be me. So, um, you know, I'm always. We were in those last couple of sprints in practice. You know, I'm running next to the DBs. I'm always yapping at the DBs. <laughs> And that's my favorite part because I can go into a linebacker room, running back room, DB room. You know, I can sit down and they'll let me sit in there the whole film session, just sit up there and break down, pick their brain. And then, you know, outside, just making sure that we hang out with each other and, and enjoy each other while we're here. That's got to be a big benefit for sure. And it seems like the, the coaching staff is pretty close with each other and with you guys too. Is there a camaraderie there too? Definitely. I, I love the defensive coaches. You know, I previously was on the defensive side. So, you know, Sermon, Browning, and getting to know all the new DB coaches that are just coming in. Um, you know, Coach Trey has been here for a minute, you know. So just getting, get, getting uh, you know, in relationship with all the coaches and the wide receiver coaches, and then most importantly, Coach G, uh, playing tackle now, you know, how to get real close to the tight ends, work on stuff, and be in communication because we're working together now. So I think that's really important to, you know, uh, be comfortable with the coaches as well. And I think that's one thing that I love about Cal is, um, you know, we're, we're close with all the coaches. You know, it doesn't matter the position. Everybody's looking out for each other, and um, I think that's the best part about being here.